Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? K1 GMM with what I'm calling is the Scorpion. I'm getting into, finally, getting into satellite work. I've been talking about doing this for a while. So what we have here, I just constructed two antennas. Um, antenna on the right is a 430 beam tuned around 435 for satellite work and up. Um, I think that's where it's tuned. Uh, homebrew, Yagi, 7 element. And the antenna on the left is a hybrid 2 meter Moxon rectangle, 3 element. They are both excellent. They're tuned perfect, as good as I can get them with my finite abilities, my hack abilities using a sight master and um, pardon the truck a sight master and a field strength meter they've all been field strength tested and they work superb um, so let me show you exactly let me this antenna the UHF antenna that is I figure I have probably about 10 bucks into that whole thing. Um, the elements are quarter inch copper ice maker tubing. You can buy a pancake coil of it for like 10 bucks. Um, that's made out of the same thing. And three quarter inch PVC. Uh, a couple T's. Of course, the framework, these are uh, fiberglass driveway markers I had sitting around, fiberglass rods. That antenna costs 10 bucks if that to build. Uh, over 10 DBD gain, um, phenomenal, works amazingly well, um, easy to build, I'll post the build specs for both of them uh, once I get everything tied off. This one, uh, estimated around 9 dB of gain, maybe 8.5 DBD, it's, it's pretty huge. And the elements, because the diameter of the elements, the bandwidth is freaking enormous on this thing. Huge. That's the beautiful thing about multi-element Moxons. Um, big difference from just using wire. The bandwidth is, is just absolutely enormous. The return loss, there's a kill box on the return loss, but, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, so, yep, a uh, few elbows. The only thing I have to do to this... I have to, I'm going to take some uh, quarter inch ID rubber tubing, slide it over this, zip tie it, run it back here, and zip tie it to this uh, spreader arm. And this will keep this from moving. It doesn't move anyways, but, you know, I want to be able to throw it in the back of the truck and not have to worry about it. You know, just take it and chuck it in there. Um, with it free floating like that, it is uh, zip tied to a uh, fiberglass rod, so it's not going to break. But I just, you know, I want to keep the spacing correct. And to get the spacing on the Moxon, I used, believe it or not, I didn't have any tubing and a piece of uh, RG6 quad shield. Um, strip off the, sh the coating off the shield, and perfect, slides right over this tube. I'll put a little hot glue on it to, to keep the spacing between the elements set, and that's done. So that's how that's done. That's it. NPC ball head. This is an old camera tripod I had. This is a killer ball head. Super, super strong. It allows articulation, like I can take this, and I can tilt, tilt the whole antenna over uh, for Doppler shift if I want. Um... Uh, also, uh, elevation and just this knob right here. I can tr I can follow the satellites, and it's glass smooth. It's a great ball head. Haven't used it in years. Uh, this plate right here to couple it. I got to replace these screws. These screws because they're the only ones I could find. Um, this is a piece of aluminum plate I had. I drilled and tapped it for the quarter twenty stud that comes out of that's built into the ball head so you just slap it on there and it all pops apart this pops off that pops off unscrew this 
boom comes away take it and throw the thing in the trunk or the back of the truck or whatever so there you go I left uh, that amount of spacing between the two so I can access this ball head um, much easier to access instead of trying to sneak in and uh, that's it man so that's the Scorpion uh, satellite array and I'll probably be getting at some point what I'm planning on use doing is using two HTs I have multiple UV 5Rs here um, use the probably the UV 82 for uplink and a UV 5R for downlink and uh, that's it man we'll catch y'all later hope you're all having fun remember if you ain't having fun it ain't worth doing so get out there build something and again I'll post the specs and the build plans for this uh, when I get a chance uh, 7-3 guys